Okay, guys, so a couple quick things. I'm back, obviously. A little sunburnt, but I'm back from Florida. Um, but when I say I'm back, I'm not back permanently, because tomorrow, or probably tonight, I'm going to my friend's house, uh, because he and his band are recording this week, so I'm going to go record some vloggity vlogs for them, uh, for their Facebook page and stuff like that. I'll probably link them in the description, or maybe put a link on the on the video or whatever, if I remember that, but, uh, anyway, so, uh, still gonna be really light on the uploads, um, obviously I didn't upload at all for almost a week because I was without Wi-Fi, um, despite the hotel saying that we had Wi-Fi, we did not have Wi-Fi, so, yeah, uh, not a big deal, you know, I live, I'm, I was on the beach, who cares that I didn't have internet, the only thing I was gonna use the internet for was to upload a couple videos, but, obviously that didn't happen, so now I just have a couple more extra videos to be able to upload, um, this one is not one that I've had pre-prepared, so, uh, yeah, but anyway, uh, I don't know what's going on in the Pokemon community, or if tears have changed, or if something big happened, so let me know any news in the comments, please, because that would be much appreciated, and without further ado, let's start the battle. Peace. Okay, so for the time being, I'm back, and this is a battle I had probably like a week ago against Sweet, um, awesome battler. Uh, I'll, obviously he has a channel with Sour, Sweet and Sour Productions. Um, I'll link them in the description. Obviously, I've pimped them out a few times because they're good YouTube friends and awesome battlers. So, yeah, right here off the bat, um, I'm setting up all my hazards because I know he doesn't really have anything to spin on me. And he shows me early that he has a Psy Shock, which I was really surprised by because usually these Uxies are just, uh, really don't carry many attacking moves, but I'm just going to let him kill me here because I really have no reason to uh, to keep this thing after I got up, what, but two layers of Toxic Spikes and a layer of Spikes, I think. Uh, and I'm going to bring in Drudagon, and he shows me Flash, and I'm like, whoa, that is weird. I was so surprised by this. And uh, Hax obviously comes into play in this game, or the lack of at some points, um, because his strategy is pretty much just to hacks the crap out of you. Um, luckily, I am able to hit the Dragon Tail there and get him out. He's going to bring in the Rhydon, um, which is going to get Toxic Poisoned and Spikes Damage. And now I'm just going to switch out into Pink Eye, predicting very nicely the Earthquake, which he does go for. Um, the reason I have this over Regirock is because nobody uses it and I wanted to look cool. So yeah, that's all the only reason I have Soul Rock. But, uh, not completely useless. Uh, I can set up rocks and screen. I think it sets up screens. I don't have screens on mine. But anyway, I'm going to set up the rocks. And now I have a free turn to just Zen Headbutt. Maybe hopefully get a flinch axe. And I do, um, which is great for me. So yeah, he has to take a lot of toxic. And I'm just going to Zen Headbutt again, hoping this will kill. Um, but it doesn't. He's going to get off a second Stone Edge. And now. Uh, <clears throat> At this point, there's really no reason to keep this thing because it's pretty much, you know, set up rocks and then hopefully get off a couple Zen headbutts, but that's really it. So now I'm pretty much just in here to let him kill me, but I think I'm going to switch. Yeah, which was a really bad play because I think he's going to go ahead and set up a sub. Yeah, so a good play on his part, um, but unfortunately for him, after taking sub damage and then toxic and whatnot, um, he's not going to be very well off, so I am going to switch out. Into Saw Rock again, just as Death Fodder. Let him take some more toxic damage. And then uh, I'm going to go back into Drodagon. Even though I'm having to take all the spikes damage, I'm going to let him hit me with a Thunder because I know uh, it's resisted and whatnot. And I live with 4 HP, which is amazing. I'm able to get off a rest and get all that health back up. So now I can just toxic stall him out right here if I want to. But I think I'm going to. Oh no, I don't switch. He's actually going to miss his Thunder. So. Um, you know, the Hax is actually working better for me right now than it is for him. He's going to bring in Emolga, and I was like, whoa, Emolga. I was expecting sub here, because the only people I've really seen use this is R.E. Brown XP, and he uses a subset, um, but this one is Flash. Um, I went for Sucker Punch there, thinking he may want to Air Slash or something, um, but he just went for the Flash again. So now, I think I'm just going to try and set up a sub, but I'm at, he's actually going to flinch me there. Um, I don't have the lefties on this because this is a, uh, this is a, uh, Rocky Helmet set. I'm going to set up the sub. He has the para now, so now he's going to try and get the para accuracy, whatever you would call it. I don't know. 
pair of miss. Uh, and I'm going to hit my first Dragon Tail at minus 2 accuracy, which is great for me. Um, but obviously, not good for him at all. And he's going to have to take Spikes, Toxic Spikes, Stealth Rocks, Toxic Poison, all that good stuff. He is going to set up the agility, and I'm going to get paralyzed first turn. So that works out pretty nicely for him. And now he's just going to go for the last resort, which I think is going to be enough to break my sub. Yeah, but I think I'm going to hit my first Dragon Tail. Um, which is amazing. At minus two accuracy, I've already hit two Dragon Tails without even missing. So I'm looking pretty good right now. Um, and now I'm just going to switch because I have the minus two. I, I really don't have a reason to sit in there. Um, he's going to flash again. And Gastrodon is pretty much going to be an annoyance to his team like no other. Uh, I think I'm just going to try and Toxic him here. Because if he stays in, um, Toxic is going to be really good on this thing. And... After minus two accuracy, I hit my first toxic, so the lack of hacks is really coming back to bite him here, unfortunately. A really interesting strategy, but a kind of hard one to get to work because it's really dependent on, you know, your opponent missing. But he said he was trying to get some battles with uh, Pikachu and Emolga really killing some stuff. Um, he's going to set me at minus three there, and I am going to get the Scald off. Uh, which is ridiculous that I'm still hitting all this stuff. But yeah, he said he was trying to get some uh, some battles with that stuff. Maybe just do a series or something. Um, but now that I'm asleep after the yawn, he's going to switch. And I think I actually switch too. Yeah, I do switch. Um, because now I have something asleep. Uh, I'm going to go into my poof here. Just because I thought he would maybe uh, crab hammer. And have to take some rough skin rocky helmet. Um, but I'm actually going to rest... Uh, thinking maybe I could take that, and luckily for me, he set up the agility, so now I'm looking pretty good. He has the Sheer Force Rock Slide, which is going to do a lot of damage, and it gets a crit, uh, which really sucks, um, but it kind of makes up for some of the things that, well, it doesn't really make up for some of the stuff I was hitting, because I'm asleep and whatnot, but anyway, um, yeah, he's down pretty low. Obviously, I can just come in and revenge kill here with the Mach Punch. No biggie, um... You're actually going to get to see this thing do what it's supposed to do later, which is awesome. I think it's going to happen right now, actually. I'm going to endure, and he's going to go for the side shock. Yep, uh, that's going to bring me down really low, obviously, down to 1 HP. It was a crit, which was beautiful. I'm going to endure that. Give him a leech berry, and now because I have unburdened plus 2 speed, and then plus 1, or is it plus 1 from that? I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to go for the reversal uh, at, mo at 1 HP that does massive damage. Uh, he's going to bring in Emolga again, and I was thinking that a plus one Mach Punch might still kill from this range, considering it's an Emolga, and I didn't think I would outspeed with a reversal, but he's actually um, going to be able to take that quite nicely and then kill me off the Air Slash. So that sucks, but I know I can just Revenge Kill with Haunter, so I'm going to kill off Emolga, and then the Porygon Z is going to die to Entry Hazard, so another really good game for the Entry Hazard team. Really working out. Um... Blastoise just kills this team, but other than that, I mean, it's a really fun team to use, and uh, unfortunately, it worked to perfection against Sweet, so, um, sorry, <laughs> but anyway, uh, that's all I got for you guys this time, so I'll see you guys next time. Peace.